All right, hello everyone. Uh, this is the Gooseman Gaming Channel. It's a relatively new channel that we're launching and trying to uh, get off the ground here. So stay tuned for some different content, but we did not want to waste opportunity to talk about Call of Duty. Mm, and ships off the Black press. Ops. Black Ops uh, 4, fresh, super, I'm personally super excited. So today with you, you have Proto, which is me, and we, as always, we have Ruse. Yep, yep, that's me. <laughs> That's me. So, dude, let's start off by talking about just a little bit of the history with the Black Ops series, as I know you and I have spent a lot of time together in the past playing probably more of the Black Ops games than any of the other ones um, in the in the Call of Duty series. So, I remember, you know, years ago, you and I played a lot of Black Ops One. Uh, what, what did you like of Black Ops oh, One? Shit ton. I don't know. I just like the general feel of it. You know. Yeah, Black Ops One was just a super fun game. Like, yeah. it, it it's hard to put an exact uh, thing to it, but the Black Ops games, to me, were always more fun than the other ones. I I don't know why. Yeah, just, I can't really are. I can't really put a specific that feature right there or that part of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was just the overall package. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, know. Treyarch has always done a really good job with Black Ops. You know, Black Ops 1 loved, played the shit out of. And then Black Ops 2 was probably my favorite. I I played Black Ops 2 in the ground. Prestige Master, all diamond weapons. I mean, I just absolutely played that game into the Wait, ground. Wait, so loved I guess every this, second is, of it. this is something that I've always confused, so... Black Ops is Treyarch, and Infinity Ward is like all the other random Call of Duty. Yeah, come so for a while, so obviously for a while, it flip flop back and forth. While while uh, Infinity Ward was doing like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare Two, Modern Warfare Three, mm -hmm. um, and then they would eat, and then every other year it would be Treyarch doing the Black Ops series, and then uh, Sledgehammer took over and yeah, did right. um, did Advanced Warfare. Um, I for, I think Treyarch did not Treyarch. Uh, I think Infinity War did Infinite Warfare. I think. Don't quote me on that. And then Sledgehammer did World War II, which just obviously is the latest one. Man, there's so many. And now we're going. There. Yeah, and now we're going back to Treyarch, and you know, watching the reveal of Black Ops Four is is really exciting. You know, I enjoyed Black Ops Three. Black Ops Three for me, the only problem I didn't really like it, it, it was. I think what everyone got burnt out on was the futuristic, oh, you know, yeah. wall jumping and sliding, and it was a little too Titanfall and Halo, and not everyone wants it. You know, we well, have games to play that, and we don't need that in Call of Duty. Well, and there was another Call of Duty out there, too, where it was full jetpack mode. You could do triple jumps, jump backwards, forwards. I don't know if that was the Black Ops, but there was no, definitely was one advanced. out there. I, some, I think... One of those, yeah. Because to be honest, you know, I I was so I don't know, not, I don't want to say against, but I did not want to play that. So I actually did not play Advanced Warfare. No, I, I paid either. attention to in Infinite Warfare because I was like maybe, but then I just the reviews for it tanked, and yeah. I just remember a lot of people hate not liking. It. I actually did the free weekend. I downloaded it and played oh. some of the multiplayer for a free weekend. And I did not enjoy. It. I just there was something about it. I just did not enjoy it, and I know. There was some, you know, controversy over like you know people were released. They released a Modern Warfare Remaster with it, but they would boost the price in order to get it. So and before ever releasing Modern Warfare as a standalone package, so that more people, I think more people were playing the multiplayer for Modern Warfare Remaster than they were for Infinite Warfare. Yeah. So yeah. Although you know not everyone has enjoyed World War II, it was nice to go back to almost a traditional Boots game. On the you know boots on the ground and i so you know diving into what black ops 4 it seems that i get the impression you know i know a lot of people hate you know hate the repetition of call of duty you know there's always a new one every year that's just a different skin and i will agree that yeah that that does yeah. happen you know you know it's a proven thing that works and it sells great every time for the most part um but watching the reveal of black ops 4 i watched the full 
press conference. Um, oh, interesting. And they definitely be like, you know, having the crowd be like, do you guys, do you, are there boots on the ground in this game? And having a big, the whole crowd go, yes, are there jetpacks? <laughs> no. And like, they definitely seem to be like, yeah, people don't want that shit. Yeah. They just don't, you know, they want <laughs> boots on the ground, Call of Duty. And I like that they are putting this in between. I got the impression from watching the multiplayer reveal that this was Black Ops 2 with some sprinkles of Black Ops 3. That's what I got out of it, mm -hmm. um, which I'm excited for because Black Ops 2 was my absolute favorite. It was the nice, you had some futuristic things, but it was still boots on the ground, and that's how this feels. Um, and I'm, I'm excited for it. I really am. Yeah, I think it's uh, going to be a nice blend of boots on the ground from World, World War 2 that we're dealing with right now and the Black Ops kind of formula from the past. Because mm -hmm. I did not like the jetpacks. It was way overdone. And, you know, you're shooting someone and all of a sudden they would zip sideways. And it's like, well, this is fucking bullshit, you know? Yeah. Well, especially because, we, again, we have games, you know. Like, I don't mind that stuff when I was playing, like, Titanfall 2 sure, multiplayer. Sure. Because that's something what's dedicated that you, to that. You know? Even, like, in Halo, with the huge jumping mm -hmm. and things like that, that. That's just part of that universe. So if I need that. In my game, I can play those. I don't need that in Call of Duty. Um, and yeah, the boots on the ground is probably the biggest thing for me. And like, I, I like that they're bringing back some specialists um, from Black Ops Three because mm -hmm. I think the specialists were really cool. I mean, you could still customize them, but they gave you a unique ability that you built up to. It wasn't like you just got it automatically, but it added a nice way to be like, okay, you know, if I could see you're playing on a team. How do we use these specialist abilities to make the best team, but still be customizable in our yeah. classes? Because I think the biggest thing that, probably the best thing about the Black Ops series is when they introduced their pick 10 system, because it gave so much customization to to the player. You know, you could have no perks and load up your gun. You could put a lot more perks on. You could do whatever you want. You could fit your play style. And I think that allows a lot of customization, especially when it comes to like, you know, doing if you are going to play as a squad and, you know, do some competitive, because they did mention that league play is going to be in Black Ops, um, just like it was in previous Black Ops. Um, I think Black Ops 2 was the first one that had um, league play. Mm -hmm. um, you know, having the league play in there, it just allows for it to be a lot of fun and have a lot of playability. And, and, and looking at the guns, you know, and, and what they're doing with the guns and specific attachments, because it usually, we were talking about, the, it was very universal attack. You can get you know, you can get a, a red dot sight on every. In like looking at World War Two, yeah, you put a red dot sight on every single, pretty much every single one. I mean, maybe not sniper rifles or pistols, but still, you know, submachine gun. The the, the weapon attachments are all pretty same, mm -hmm. but it seems like for this that you're gonna have different weapon attachments for depending on the gun you're using. They may have something another thing doesn't have, um, which was cool. You know, I think that's that's neat. You know, combined with some specialists, you know, I think it's gonna be some fun multiplayer, but that's not over the top. You know, yeah, yeah, I agree. Looking for, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. And you know, more will probably get revealed, but it definitely got the impression that they listened. You know, they listened to the fact, you know, what worked, what didn't work, what do people want. And I think this is going to be, you know, it's a Call of Duty game. There's always going to be the haters, there's always the fanatics, but I think this is going to be fun. I think this is going to be really fun. Well, Spartacus, probably the biggest Spartacus in the group doesn't like Call of Duty. He is an anti-Call of Duty man. Oh, he is? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's like, ah. Well, like you said before, it's just the same the same packaging, you know? Uh, well, it's the same game, but it's just a different wrapping. So Yeah, and that's how a lot of the Modern Warfare fell, and that's how it definitely, like, between Advanced and Infinite Warfare fell. Oh, yeah, totally. Just... Part of the reason why I didn't get Advanced Warfare. Yeah, but... that's why, like, when World War II came back, I was like, okay. Yeah, okay, this, this is different. Yeah, I will, I will get this either though. I fucking hate it. Uh, I'm <laughs> terrible at it. I know you don't like it. Well, um, you don't, you I'm haven't... not a fan of it. Yeah. I don't know why, but I don't know. I'm really looking forward to this new one, and the evidence that these guys are listening to their customer base is the battle royale mode coming up. Oh, oh dude, so excited! I you look at PUBG, you look at Fortnite, and how massively successful those are. I think it only yeah. makes sense, but. Yeah, well, it definitely makes sense, and you know the battle royale modes, battle royale is huge, and you know, but there's definitely one of those things where, you know, looking at battle royale, 
I mean, we look at the two biggest games in it. We've seen games come to life that are trying to to mm-hmm. do it. And I, I, you know, I've been waiting for. I don't like Fortnite, and I don't like yeah, Fortnite. I'm not a fan of Fortnite because either. I, I'm not a fan of the building. Mm-hmm. I'm not a fan of the car. It's don't get me wrong. Fortnite is fun to play when I'm not. When I just want okay, like if someone's like uh, Wee's Wee's uh, McDee's. You know, it says like, oh, some you know, some buddies are playing Fortnite. Do you want to go fourth? Sure, I don't mind. I'll go around and goof around and play some Fortnite, but it's not a game I look to play for enjoyment. Yeah. Like even you know, it is a very polished game. Epic did a good job. They took a pro- a game that was supposed to be like a PVE zombie base oh, building game and turned it, it into yeah. a battle royale. They completely ripped off PUBG. It was a, it's a total rip off of that totally. idea. But hey, they've the thing is though that the problem. You know, with PUBG, is that they're is, an independent developer. Isn't there another yeah. game that's very similar? Is it like H1Z1? So H1Z1 was uh, kind of the first one that I think one of the first, but it's died off when PUBG launched. It like killed H1Z1. H1Z1 is now free. So on Steam. isn't technically PUBG copying H1Z1 then, and they're the well, creators of the Battle Royale? Well, the the story that I'm aware of is that. Um, this guy uh, who created, who player unknown himself, and his name is actually Brendan Green, um, um, was doing mods and Arma, and then I think with H one Z one, then he broke off and did his own thing, you know, with with PUBG, and then then you know Epic got a hold of, got a hold of the idea as well and did Fortnite, and I think what PUBG is struggling with now is that it just doesn't release things fast enough. It seems like they are doing updates, yes, but it's just not at the rate. If you look at Fortnite, who is a you know who's backed by a AAA developer, you yeah, know, Epic, right? They make the Unreal Engine like right. They're every they have full seasons of new content. Like yeah. Thanos is in it. That's a big From the, difference. Like, like how big is Marvel right now? How big was Infinity War with Thanos? Yeah, and now Thanos is in the game. You're gonna you're like it doesn't even matter if you in Fortnite's free, so people are gonna be like, mm-hmm. oh. I just watched Infinity War. Like I like to play games. Oh, I can go fuck around as Tham- Thanos. Okay, they're they're gonna go download that for free and have mm-hmm. fun. You know, PUBG is thirty dollars. PUBG is a great concept. It is a good game, but it's lacking. You know, oh, I think you know, obviously the computer version do. is so much ahead of the Xbox yeah. version. But Xbox should be, Xbox version should be ahead of should be much further ahead than where it is. It's honestly like. I can't believe that the desert map came to the to the phone. Before yeah, that's what you were mentioning before. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous, and we all kind of guessed that it was only a matter of time before a bigger AAA developer took this idea and ran with it. And that's what it seems that Treyarch's doing that's... with their battle royale mode blackout. I think it's only a matter. Of, it. It's only a matter of time, really. Yeah, it was gonna and... happen, and now it's happening. Yeah, because if I if like I I like when you when you were playing PUBG versus playing Call, and I'm speaking from you know we played it on the computer, we also played on the Xbox. Yep. But like if I'm sitting on my console, and I'm going back and forth between those two sets of shooting mechanics, Call of Duty is very fluid. It oh is. yeah, totally. You know, even in ba- even when I play Battlefield, it's very fluid. Yep. And I would love to have those shooting mechanics in a game and in, in a battle royale mode. And now I am. Why would I? You know, I'll be very my my curiosity about it about Blackout is how they're going to balance everything. And just to give people who are listening, if they didn't see it already, Blackout is going to be on a map fifteen hundred times larger than a standard Call of Duty map. I think they compared like Nuketown or something like that. Fifteen hundred times larger. They're going to have air, land, and sea vehicles for people to be in, which is kind of new for Call of Duty. It's not really based off of vehicles. No, it's to get not. in the vehicle a, and do stuff. That's a battlefield thing. That's a battlefield thing. And, you know, they had it in what World of War a long time ago uh, with tanks How but long? very kind of limited very limited yeah. you know no nowhere near like battlefield like getting in planes no. and tanks and cars and and they're going to take uh, you know characters and maps and locations from all four black ops games and they're going to build like this map they're building this map that's going to contain kind of like the favorite things now I'm kind of curious to see when they say, "Oh, like your favorite characters are going to be in it." You know, does that mean that I'm picking that I'm I'm picking a character to play as? You know, mm-hmm. are they going to work in like the specialists? You know, and some things that they said like, "Oh, we're going to work in like your favorite guns from zombies," and I'm like, "Well, some of the guns and zombies get like supernatural." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." I'm kind of curious how that's going. I'm curious how they're going to balance it all because yeah, they're going to have guns from guns and items from all four games. You know, they're going to have things like the RC car, apparently. Like, 
I'm curious to see how well, that's going to work. And you know, like, is it going to be a kill streak? You know. Well, and here's my here's my main question with this mode coming up too. Look at PUBG and look at Call of Duty, right? The map layouts of each Call of Duty is relatively speaking a close quarters game. You know, narrow mm-hmm. corridors and, and and angles of fire, whereas PUBG is a wide open island. You know, mm-hmm. with forests and plains and mountains. It's wide open with clusters of compounds. Now, is this new Battle Royale mode in Call of Duty going to follow kind of a wide open area with snippets of, oh, hey, that's Summit, or hey, that's, uh, you know, that's whatever map that they decided to implement in, mm-hmm. in like those clusters? Mm-hmm. So, or is it going to be a, just a very large series of interconnected close quarters maps yeah i think i think for i think the smart way to go is to mix it like i well and, and if they're going to have land sea and air vehicles it's going to be very hard to have a huge series of interconnected maps yeah so, i think we're going to see a combination of terrain like but when i go to a city like that might yeah, be a city yeah yeah, you know, yeah i played yeah. Ma- i played i played parts of in like black too, right, like know, if like, you're going to Yesnaya in PUBG, you're going to go to yeah. a, the, one of those nostalgic map areas that they're trying to implement. Right. Yeah, like I could see, you know, it's obviously it's not, it's not. Um, this was a Modern Warfare map, but the airport map from Modern Warfare, sure, uh, two or three, I think. Actually, I think it was in both. Like I could see, like, oh, I need a plane, but I'm, when I go to the airport, it's going to be very similar to that location. Yeah. I think that's how they're going to do it because I think they need to have a mix because. One thing they're just saying, oh, the fast-paced combat of Call of Duty, but in a battle royale. But like part of the fun of battle royale is the different play modes that you can do. Like looking at PUBG, we can drop military and go and just like you know get into a fight. We yeah. can drop a little bit out of the way and play more of the stealth, to sneak up on people, you know, pick our battles games, which is like that's the strategy you go for when you really want to get high placing you right. or you know make really tactical decisions. And that's something I hope they preserve in this because I don't want it to be a cluster every single time. You want to actually be able to play in many different ways, which I think they are focused on. I think allowing people to do that. My only my only other thing with the mechanics of Call of Duty that I'm very curious to see how it's going to work in, in Blackout is that, A, am I going to drop the loadout? You know, is that going to be dependent on level? Because again, you know, we all know dropping in level one versus a level a prestige, you yeah. know, almost prestige person, you have access to everything versus access to nothing. Uh, I think they're going to do it in a traditional way of like pick, find your stuff. That's yeah, the only fair I think way so. To do it. I agree. I yeah, I don't. I mean, they might have. You might be able to drop down with a pistol or sidearm or whatever, <laughs> but your main weapon or weapons like PUBG, you can have two. Right. I think should be rendered in. I I like that formula where you don't know what you're going to find and that random number Mm -hmm. generator can really make or break the session, which adds a bit of unpredictability to it and a little bit more fun. Yeah, I agree. I think because I, I, you know, I I could, the only other way I could see them doing it, this is really a stretch, is like they segregate it, like levels 1 through 10 only get to play together while levels 11 through 20, so everyone has access to the same gear, but I think they're going to do it. Well, they might not even, if of if, dropping in, finding stuff. If you're I think going, that's the best way to do it. If you're going into a Battle Royale mode, rank may not even play a factor. Everybody will be able to have access to whatever guns that are spawned. Mm. You know? I, think that's a, I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah. I think, you know... Like, Leave the ranking to the to the traditional know. Team Deathmatch or Search and Destroy, but if you're going to yeah. Battle Royale, it's just going to be... Yes, you'll have your ranking in terms of maybe what uh, clothes you have or shit, you know, or whatever they're just cosmetic yeah exactly but in terms of the actual gameplay it might just be random number at least this is all speculation at this point but i think that's how it should be yeah because you know they're yeah the balancing is gonna be interesting you know with finding you know with them saying there's unique attachments for every gun you know finding attachments i think it's gonna be style i think it's gonna keep it fair Sure, sure but my only the other thing i think about with this is that you know looking at a game like battlefield when i'm sniping in battlefield i need to uh, adjust for, um, you know, the yeah, bullet drop and moving whatnot. bullet drop. Yeah. You know, the guns in battlefield have like, you know, some snipers are get a one kill at a hundred meters versus 150 meters. Some, you know, they're built for different things and then zeroing your weapon. You know, that's one thing that's really kind of fun in PUBG 
is that, you know, oh, I see someone in the distance, but I have to adjust my shooting to hit them. Where Call of Duty, it's a straight line. Yeah. Well, um, because you don't really have most, any I true mean, sniping levels. They're so close quarters. Yeah, that, not, no not as much anymore. Yeah. You know, the only, I think in World War Two, you know, for just, the only map that I'm like always sniping on is Gustav. Yeah. Is the Gustav cannon. Um, no, uh, yeah, World War Two, sorry. Um, so, where in like Black Ops 2, there were definitely some sniping maps, but like if it felt as it like changed as it went on, that I didn't feel like sniping was uh, truly a thing where you could actually a lot of quick scoping, you know, where I'm like, where like in Battlefield, that's where I truly do feel like I'm in a hill and I am actually sniping people. Um, so I hope they figure, you know, they balance that. So it's like, because again, we, there's never really been bullet drop in Call of Duty. So I hope that mm -hmm. if I see somebody 300 meters away, I can't, that, because I don't want to get shot from somebody who's 300 meters away who just decides to put the crosshairs on me and pulls the trigger. Well, I would, and that, if that, I get killed from 300 meters away, I want that guy to earn that shot. <laughs> well, and that's, and you know, with the instant kind of no bullet drop that lends to quick scoping. Mm, and if yeah. you get quick scope like 500 meters away, I'd be fucking pissed. I'd be impressed if someone quick scope 500 meters away. Impressed but... for like a millisecond, and then I would be pissed. Yeah, there definitely needs to be that realism yeah. um, in it. You know, that's why I'm also happy like with that they're doing this. Like, no jumping. There's no boots on the ground. I mean, sorry, boots on the ground. No jumping. You well, know, because I would hate to be no jetpacks. No, you no jump, jet but packs. no jetpacks. And yeah, I know what you mean. No. Because another thing I was thinking about with like the vehicles is that you know there there is a, you know if in PUBG depending on how the circle falls. You know, sometimes you can get a boat, go out into the water, and kind of lay <laughs> low, yeah, and then come back in. You know, I, you know, sometimes I like to, you know, we like to Navy Seal it. You know, swim into the circle and come up out of the water and catch people off guard. I mean, that's a tactical strategy. But I'll be curious to see how they do that in Call of Duty. Like, you know, listening to someone they're talking about how like planes, like how are the planes going to work in a Call of Duty game? Like, can someone just fly around? for for the entire time like there has to oh, be a way yeah. to balance that yeah. we're like what if someone doesn't find a rocket launcher you know or they miss you know like so i think what well, well, those details will come to life you know, we still have e3 to come up we have all summer for them to like reveal because they, they just basically showed that it's in it in the game but we didn't see gameplay they gave us some hints but we didn't see the gameplay of it we didn't see a live match we, you know we didn't see any of that well with the planes there's probably going to be fuel involved and no, but what, I meant just with any anything in the battle royale. Oh, I know, yeah. But like I'm just saying, what prevents someone from just flying around the circle, right, and not being shot down? No, there's probably fuel involved. If they're going so fast that they'll go in and out of the circle, it won't be, uh, won't be feasible, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, they didn't. You know, they they didn't touch be a closing circle. Radical Heights, which was a battle royale game that's now um, had was a last ditch attempt for, uh, I forget the studio name off the top of my head, to kind of keep alive. But they had in, 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 implemented a grid system where like sections of the map would be closed off in the grid and it wasn't a circle closing in. So I'll be curious to see how they manage that. And I'll be curious to see if, you know, the one thing that happens in PUBG is that there can be a lull in the mid game, you know, will be, Sometimes it's crazy, you know, you're, you, before the first circle ends, 60 people are dead, and it's just 40. <laughs> yep. And you do see a lull for, like, 10, 15 oh, minutes, sure. so there's nobody's really died. And then you see, like, as the play zone starts to shrink again, then people will die, but it creates that lull. So I'll be very, you know, a lot of things I've read about Battle Royale is that how do you improve the mid-game of, because obviously the end game is pulse pounding, and the beginning can be pulse pounding, but then the middle, you know. Well, so hey. I'm very curious to see what Call of Duty does with like they were saying how you can get the RC car. Yeah, you know, that's a thing. Is that going to be a kill streak? Because that's going to motivate oh. me to go out and hunt somebody down. If I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to drop a if care package. If there is kill streaks involved, if there is kill streaks involved, you can imagine a UAV and the uh, usefulness of the UAV on a battle royale. Oh yeah, kind of mode. Oh, you can see clusters of people where they're out. That that'd be that'd be big or. Yeah. The fucking uh gunning airplane. Fuck, I forget what it was called, but I think I think the gunning the the, the you know the ball there's been a million different basically you get an airplane and have a gun for a limited amount of time. Yeah. I think that I think that that would be a little overpowered cuz totally. you could you could do some damage with that. You could kill like 20 um, people in one air, airplane. I'd be pissed. Yeah, but I could see things like the RC car for getting in the building. Sure. I could see things like 
a sentry gun. I could see things yeah, yeah, like yeah. the UAV for a yep. certain amount of time or yep. you know, but like it makes getting kills more worth it. And I think I think if they do that cuz like you know, if you're you're dead, you're dead. It's not like you're going to respawn. You know, I'll be curious to see if they do that like, the the streaks are obviously it would have to be like a one time thing, I would imagine cuz yeah. you die normally, you know, you get you know, get what is it, 500 points now for a UAV. Um, or recon plane in World War Two, die. You can earn that again. You, know, you can you can earn them multiple times. I would have to imagine that. You know, yeah. once you get past that certain tier, that you're just going to keep climbing in tiers of kill streaks. So there's no way to re-earn things, which I think is good because I would hate imagine somebody just like spamming UAVs or something like that. You know. Yep. Yeah. So, because once you die, you're dead. Like you know, and that's that's fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the only other I, we could talk. Battle Royale. Um, the only other mode, I think, you know, um, before we wrap up, um, is zombies. Ha! You know, zombies! You know, I think, it's amazing to me that zombies has, you know, it's, be, it, you know, remember Nazi zombies back in oh, yeah. World at War. When it first came out. And then out. it's really, yeah. How much it, has it's grown taken since on, then? It's taken on, you could sell probably zombies at its own game. Probably. It's just their full-fledged stories. Well, and I also want to quickly interject that the fact that there's going to be no campaign, I think, is amazing. And yeah, but yeah, that's I beside agree. the point. That is, we could talk all day about what they're doing and whatnot, but yeah, zombies has come a long way. Yeah, and they're releasing on day one three full-fledged stories, which I think is good because it's like. Especially with not having a campaign, they gotta boost the content. And between multiplayer, three zombie maps, and battle royale, I'm not. I mean, I never played the campaigns. I don't play these games for campaigns. Mm -hmm. But between those three modes on day one launch, mm -hmm. that's a lot to play. And I know they said they're gonna do some sort of. Um, they're interweaving some narrative into another uh, mode. It's like a story for each of the specialists in a way. I, I think I didn't really Specialist. get all the details on that. Um, but I think going without a campaign is, is wise. There already seems like there's so much to do in this I game. Don't, I've never played the fucking campaign. Really. Never. Never. I mean, I always I've played done the a couple, first of couple levels and I'm like, I'm Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I never followed it through. It's and all the people called... that I know that play Call of Duty, they don't play the campaign. Call of Duty is a multiplayer game, straight up, you know, and someone who's buying Call of Duty but never plays a multiplayer, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. Yeah. But like, <laughs> It also, it's like there's been so many Call of Duty games. It's like, what military story can you tell that you haven't? Oh, recalled? sure, yeah. I I think it's fine that they are ditching save really save do. the time and effort on the campaign. Put your energy towards stuff that I'm gonna play. I think that's and why that's, that, what, that's what they did for Blackout. Yeah, they're like, that, this we're is great. putting it into this totally because they're taking things from all their games. Like that's a lot of assets to move over. Yep, and put in one. You know, I think and I think dedicating. Time to that is is great. I think it's a smart idea. I really do. Absolutely. You know, I'll be curious to see. You know, we have the battlefield reveal coming up in about five days. I'll be curious to see what you know what battlefield's going to do. I think you know, looking at some of the uh, notes from like you know the EA investors meetings, you know, they're well aware of how popular battle royale is. Mm -hmm. I'll be curious to see if they try to capitalize. It is EA, which makes me nervous because it's EA and they're greedy fuckers. But um. You know, Battlefield. You know, I feel like I feel like implementing Battle Royale in Battlefield is going to be easier than Call of Duty. But Treyarch's jumped on it, and I, you know, good for them. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, we'll see. I'm I'm curious to see what the Battlefield reveal is all, going to be. All I'm going to say is I have taken off October 12th. Is it October 12th? Right, the release. Yeah. I, yeah. I've taken that off of work. Um, I'm not going to be working at all. And I'm gonna relive my my glory teenage years of just staying up all night and destroying <laughs> that game. Uh, I haven't done oh, that in a long time. it on a Friday too. Oh, it's great. Oh, so nice. the only thing the only thing I really hope is that they get you know like every called COD launch. There's always server problems. Oh yeah. So that's my only thing with like taking off that time. Hold on, I kind of want to make sure that uh. You know, give it a day. Make sure this. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. I'm just gonna jump in, and I'll be one of those people jamming up the servers. I'll be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I feel you, dude. Like I thought about it, and since it's a Friday, I'll probably take it off. Like, you know, I'm just gonna fucking like all duty. Yep. 
Yeah, you know, especially, exactly. Especially Blackout. Shit, yeah. I'm excited for Hell it. Hell yeah. I'm very curious how they're going to balance it, but I think they know that they need to do well with it, and I, I think if this were Infinity Ward, I'd be, or Sledgehammer, I'd be, but, you know, because I just, you know, but what I'm trying to say is because I've, I've always had so much fun with the Black Ops games, I think Treyarch was right. I'm glad they're the ones doing it. For the yeah, part. totally. You know? I, so. I could tell you that this is the first time in a long time where I'm legitimately excited for a Call of Duty game. Yeah. And, like, yes, like, I'm excited mm -hmm. for Call of Duty, but nothing that it's just get me completely amped. I am amped for this one. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I was excited for World War II. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, that, that'll that yeah. be fun. Like, that'll be fun to play. This I like is the, the game World War II like... first. The whatever, the one, the, the World at War that came out. I, I like that mm -hmm. one, so I think I like this one. Yeah. It, and it also was just, uh, it was a return to traditional what Call of Duty was based off of World War II, and it was like, ah, okay, this will be fun. This will be different. And, but this game, I'm like, I'm excited. I am fucking excited for Let's it, do you it. know? Yep. I'm ready and to it's been a while. It's been a while. The last game I got this, ex this last COD I got this excited about was Black Ops 2. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm I, ready to get my kill death ratio up over a one. <laughs> the fucking World, uh, World War II right now. Well, you, like, you don't haven't played as much oh as my god why it's down it's, it's because i fucking know, hate it i'm terrible at it i don't know why i'm historically a very good call of duty player but this one i cannot get the hang of i'm not sure yeah maybe it's specific yeah. coast messing with me yeah well when you move back the... here to the east coast well, you're gonna have that problem. working on it soon enough <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it, but it's definitely something that like time like you know you play you know, i know you know because you know, you're, you're you're busy and you play with us a couple times in a week where like you know we yeah. and i are playing you know we play some PUBG, then we play some cods yeah. almost every night so you learn the maps you learn the mechanics you yeah. learn like those things in that general dude, feel for it not to get too sidetracked we we jumped into hardcore the Ugh. other night Ugh. and uh we got onto shipment 1944 and I had that. I had the um, the Snake too, the heroic uh, PPHS submachine gun. Okay. And you would just like, I would just step out and see their spawn. You just, everyone just dies instantly. And I'm like, I said to Adam, like, uh, I said to Weez, and I was like, Dude, this map on hardcore is just a bloodbath. It, the match took like two minutes. It was so fast. Oh, I imagine. Because everyone dies instantly. Yeah, Jesus, you show the millisecond you went... pop a corner, someone's already shooting, you die. Dude, I think I went like, I think I went like, I want to say it was like 26 and 10, 26 and 9. Like, I got all my streaks, and I, I did the fighter jet right on the spawn. Like, oh my god, I got the merciless. Oh, it's so much fun. So much fun. Because you just have to tag somebody once. Like, just tag the area mm -hmm. around them with a fighter jet. <laughs> uh-huh. So, that was Crazy. fun, though. Cool. Yeah, the only other thing I'll probably say about it, you know, then we can wrap up, is that like one thing that World War II has done that's really cool is that they've done a lot of events after launch, and they're consistently introducing new weapons to earn. Like we just got, you know, we there was an order that allowed us to earn that burst weapon, and it's fun to earn new weapons as you go throughout Call of Duty. And I I know Black Ops Three has something similar, but it was it was really kind of behind. Um, the supply crates, which in you know, like the black market. So I hope in Black Ops Four they maintain a similar system in which that I'm. There's always things for me to be progressing, even like six months after it's launched, for new weapons and new things. Because mm -hmm. um, I literally liked that in World at War, and I know a lot of people didn't like the supply crates in World at War, but it's like it was just cosmetic items, so it's like whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah. So are you ready to are you ready to wrap? Anything yeah. else? Yeah. yeah. No. Um, we hit it all. Yeah, we hit it all. So I'm sure we'll talk about more of this stuff in the yep. field. This is just based off, you know, the one-hour press conference. There'll be a lot of speculation out there on what these modes, you know, more details as they, as they come up. But uh, this has been uh, QSpan Gaming with one of our probably one of our this actually technically kind of the first podcast. This about. is the this first is one. Exciting. This is the first one. First one. So very exciting. So if you guys like, probably sucks too, but it's the first one. That's okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Probably sucks too, but it's the first one. That's okay. Hey, you know, trial, you know, trial and error. Well, it's just a manner of doing it and keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, this has been the Gooseman Gaming Channel. Um, from the Gooseman Gaming Group, just a group of guys who all enjoy playing games together and sharing. 
playing games, talking games, you know, out there. So if you like, if you like it, you want to hear more, you want to see some more videos, just hit the subscribe button, and yeah. uh, we'll uh, talk to you guys again soon. So this has been let us proto. And let us ruse. let us know in the comments what you guys think about the new Call of Duty coming up. And yeah, definitely let us know. We'd love to hear everyone's thoughts. I'm sure there'll be a wide variety of thoughts between hatred and love. It, well, if you share my hatred for World War Two, the World War Two <laughs> one right now, please let me know because I'm sure I'm not the only one. But I no, you're not hate the it. only one. Oh, I fucking hate it so much. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyways, that's enough for that. <laughs> All right, well, we'll wrap up here, guys. We. Post them some more videos soon. See you cool. later. See you guys.